John, that letter's for your mother. I finished my oatmeal, Father. May I be excused? Yes, Whitney, you may go. It's a good game. I will. With me? Yes, Mother. My catechism. Never mind this morning, darling. Run along. Thank you, Mother. What's wanting? Margaret, what is this? Coffee, sir. It is not coffee. You couldn't possibly take water and coffee beans and arrive at that. It's slops, that's what it is, slops. Take it away. I come down to this table every morning hungry. Well, if you're hungry, Claire, why aren't you eating your breakfast? I am. Aunt Judith wants me to come up and visit her. Now, Vinnie, I want no more relatives in this house. We are going to live here by ourselves, in peace and comfort. Claire, I was saying Aunt Judith wants me to visit her. Oh. I declare you're getting younger and prettier every oh, year. Oh, oh, this is Mary Skinner. Ed Skinner's daughter. My goodness, I never would have known you. Just leave your things out here and come right on in. I've heard my father talk so much about you, Mrs. Skinner. Uh -huh. Did he tell you how he used to dip my pigtails in the inkwell at school? <laughs> What's the news in Pleasantville, Cora? Oh, Vinnie, I have so much to tell you. We wrote you that Aunt Carrie broke her hip. Yes. That was the night that Robert Ingersoll lectured. Of course, she couldn't get there, but it was a good thing for Mr. Ingersoll she didn't. <laughs> How do you do, Cousin Cora? Oh, Clarence. My, my. Oh, no, Cora, this is John. Uh, John? Why, how you've grown. You'll be a man before your mother. <laughs> John, this is Mary Skinner. How do you do? How do you do? Vinnie, everybody in Pleasantville sends their love. Uh, Grandpa Ebbett. Cousin Edith, Please. Aunt Hattie, the Taylors, oh, just everybody. Cora, how is Grandpa Evans? Oh, he hasn't been at all well. You know he only has one kidney, and that's floating. 